Okay, so we're going to calibrate the tachometer now. Um, you'll notice I've put the dial back on and I've put the needle back on. They're needed so that you can read off the RPM on the taco. Um, I've also downloaded 100 hertz and 200 hertz signals which I'm playing from my computer through a calibration cable to this tachometer. Uh, it's all connected up, just needs the power on to, to go. So let's connect the power and see what it does. Okay. Now the, this is for a six cylinder engine and 100 hertz should read 2000 RPM and 200 hertz should read 4000 RPM. You can see it's reading a bit low. So let's get a small screwdriver in the adjustment screw on the back and um, I've, got, I've got it cycling between the two WAV files which is quite a good way to do it. I'm going to increase it till that lower one's reading 2000 and then wait and hopefully yeah, it's reading a little bit high. Now I think it's more important to have it reading right at the top end so we'll adjust that spot on. You can, sometimes you can't get them to read exactly right all the way through the rev range but most people would want them to read more accurately at the top end there we are. and it does pay when you've adjusted it just to give it a little tap sometimes the movements can be a little bit sticky and just by attacking it it sort of simulates the vibration that's in the car Let's see where it settles that's pretty close I'd be happy with that so that's how we calibrate. Um, you don't have to be too fussed um, because the adjustment screw is at the back here and um, depending on your case, most cases you can adjust it from outside the case so you can readjust it. Uh, if you've got a case where it isn't, there isn't a hole in the right place, what you might want to do is put a little hole in the case that you can get to the adjustment screw. Uh, and that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.